What's up YouTube? Josh Paul here. You're watching Amateur Pool and today we be stroking. I be stroking. That's what I be doing. That's right. Not that kind of stroking though. We're going to learn how to stroke on the table. A lot of people always tell me, Josh, I need to learn how to do this cut. I need to practice that. I need to use this English. I need to practice how to use that English. Well, bottom line is, if you don't have a consistent stroke, you can't practice shit. It does something different every time you hit the ball. You have to get a consistent straight stroke before you can really learn how to practice and do things that you want to do on the ball. So that's what this is all about today. Two parts to this. First part, muscle memory. Second part, stroke practice. Let's get into it. So the first thing I like to do is build muscle memory. And, and the way I do this is like anything else, you start off learning something very slowly and then you build speed once your muscle memory is there. So what I like to do is line up a shot like this and I'm not actually gonna shoot the shot. I'm just gonna line it up, get down on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. And I'm gonna very slowly take my stroke and you're going to feel all those flaws in your stroke. You're going to feel the shakiness in your arm. You're going to feel all that. So really concentrate. I'm pulling back extremely slow. And going forward extremely slow. And try to keep your arm as straight as you can. You're going to do, I like to call them reps, like you're, like you're fucking working out or something, but you're not really working out. You kind of are, because when you're done, your arm is going to be sore. Um, do that maybe 10 times, you know, as slow as possible. I like to count when I'm doing it so I'm slow enough, like this. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And really focus on keeping the shake out. Um, what that's doing is it's, it's getting your muscles used to that perfectly straight back and straight forward stroke. That's going to help eliminate a lot of those flaws you guys have. After you do about 10 reps of it, take a shot. You're going to need it. You're going to want to take a shot afterwards. All right, so once you practice your muscle memory a little bit and you do the slow strokes, the next thing I like to do is just practice that straight stroke. First thing you do, if you have little donut holes, the paper punch things, these. If you have these, use these. Super easy and convenient. And you're gonna stick one where this first diamond here meets this second diamond here. If you don't have one of these donuts, just take your chalk and make a little mark right there. You can see it easily and afterwards it wipes right off. And you do that in all four corners. You got one here, you got one here, you got one here. Balls on each one of these donuts. And I like using two cue balls because you're gonna hit both of them. What you do is you just practice making stop shots, long straight stop shots. To make a stop shot, hit just below center on the cue ball with a nice firm stroke. Stop shot one. See? That's why we need to practice. We need to practice because you can't make shit without it. Really take your time, focus in on an exact spot you want to hit. And your objective is to stop the cue ball dead. And you shoot one, replace it with another ball, and move over here. You're going to make this shot. Crazy, so it was not a good straight stroke. Then you move up here, set your balls on, on the spots, and you shoot this way. Replace the ball, move around. How's that? You do this until all your balls are gone. Okay. 
repeat that process a few times. If you can do it every day, great. You're basically a pimp because I can tell you right now, not too many people put in table time every single day by themselves working on their stroke. And the ones that do, we call them professionals, you know? So do it as often as you can. It's a pain in the ass. Nobody likes doing it. It's called work for a reason, you know? You're putting in work. That's why not everybody's great at work. Not everybody has the ability to make themselves put in the work. A lot of people play every day. But when you're playing matches and games with somebody else, you're not, you're not challenging your stroke because your goal is to win. So you want to do what's comfortable. Take the time on the table by yourself, put in the effort, and watch your game rise up. Till next time. Peace.